One of the more interesting pieces of sculpture we have is this of Christopher van der Eye. Christopher van der Eye was a North City German tavern owner who noted that when they were playing this new thing called baseball across from his tavern, he would sell more beer. So he decided to buy the struggling Brown Stockings team and he will become a baseball owner. As a German, he really didn't understand much about the game of baseball and used to brag about how his baseball diamond was bigger than everybody else's. If you didn't know, they're all the same size. But Christopher van der Eye would have this sculpture made during his years of success with the Brown Stockings team and actually included just outside of his baseball park. The St. Louis news media got a hold of that. That would have been newspapers at the time. And they dubbed it Van Der Eye Discovers Illinois as it looked east out on Grand. Van Der Eye would go on to own the brown stockings for a number of years. He will sell them ultimately. And those brown stockings will become the St. Louis Cardinals. Another note while we're here is this particular piece of monumentation. It's in fact an operational piece here at the cemetery. It's one of our hitching posts. Remember, built in 1849, the mass of transportation was horse and buggy at that point in time. And when you came to visit, you'd had to have a place to tether your horse. We invite you to come to 4947 West Florissant, Florida, where Bellefontaine Cemetery and Arboretum is located. Come inside our gate, and on the right-hand side, you'll find our office. And just outside the office door is a lending library box with maps that you can secure to take yourself on a journey through our 3.7-mile trek white line tour.